Welcome back to Lehigh Valley Sports Scene as we close tonight's show with a little rewind to the spring sports season. It was an incredible year for the Concrete Kids boys volleyball team, a squad that went 23 and 3 during the 2022 campaign. The kids were dominant, setting records and achieving first as a team, and they were led by a group of seniors that found motivation in a friend, teacher, mentor, and coach. She believed in them so they could believe in each other. Cassie Schmidt joins us now with more. In 2022, the Northampton Boys Volleyball Program made history, becoming the first team to win a District 11 crown. But let's rewind to where the story actually began. Well, I, this is where it all started with the boys. The first time I met them um, five years ago, Jess came on, a, well, I came on as head coach and Jess remained on as the middle school coach and the girls head coach. Um, but I came in the gym and she was sitting right there and she said to me, this is your future. And I went, what? And she goes, these guys. And I turned and they were like a little taller than me. And I'm going, huh? And she's like, yeah, this is your future. These boys are like incredible. They have so much fun together. They are good friends and they work hard. And little did we know they were our future. <laughs> Justin Lason was a math teacher at Northampton Middle School. It was there she also took on the role as the boys volleyball coach. Finn Lason was unfortunately diagnosed in 2018 with a brain tumor. Jess then lost her battle with cancer in 2021, but not before she made a group of young boys believe that they could achieve greatness. She played a big role. She, she got us to not only come out, but then she made it fun once we were there. And she saw we were friends and she had us in class, so she knew what we liked to do. She saw basically what drills we like to do and she let us even sometimes like pick our own things we wanted to do in practice just like to get us going. She was uh, really influential. Like she started, she got all of us interested in the sport. I mean, some of us didn't even know how to play or anything and then she just brought us in and teach us the sport and got us like uh, interested in it and she taught us all about it. And then, I mean, seventh grade year we weren't, we weren't very good, but and then eighth grade year, we got a lot better. And you know, we saw the changes. We only had one loss our eighth grade year. That showed us that we could win a lot. Well, she said they were athletic. And like I said, she, she said, even if they don't know volleyball, I can teach them volleyball. If I can teach them math, I can teach them volleyball because I think volleyball was more a passion than math was for sure. So she just wanted to teach these kids and she knew they were athletic, knew that they could do it and believed in them. And so I think she did. And at the start of the 2022 season, those same boys wanted to dedicate the year to Jess, hoping to do whatever they could to continue bringing her along for the ride. I feel like she was there the whole time. I mean, we put, um, we all put purple laces on our shoes, so it was like, we always felt like she was on the court with us. And even when our warm-ups were just laying on the bench, I felt like she was on the bench there too. So I always felt like her presence was always with us and watching over us. Throughout the season, as we believe more and more we'd find ourselves in matches where we'd be down like six, seven, or eight points, and we'd think of that, and we'd know we were never out of a match. When someone you love passes away, and people ask, you know, for pictures or whatever, you, it, it's hard because you aren't making any new memories with this person, so you have to look back at the old pictures that you have. And this crew this year really made a difference, and I felt like, we were still making memories with Jess, and she was there with them. And very proud of them, like every step of the way. It was incredible, you know? And there were times where I stepped in the huddle where I felt like they didn't believe at times. And then I would step in the huddle at times and just say, you know, what would she say right now? What would she say to you right now? And then it would make them start to talk and make them understand that they can do this. They can do it. While there are some current renovations going on inside of Peach Schneider Gymnasium, the brand new hardwood floors will not be the only changes come the new year. There will also be a brand new banner hung in honor of the 2022 district champs and state semifinalists, cementing this dedicated season in Northampton history forever. Yeah, it's great. I mean, once every, everyone comes in our gym, they're going to see the banner hanging up on the wall. I mean, they're going to know what team did that, and I mean, it means a lot. I mean, it's so crazy how we got the first district championship ever and made it so far in states. Uh, like, none of that stuff's ever been done in Northampton history, so, I mean, it's so crazy to think about that. We're probably the best team ever in Northampton history, but 
she was always rooting for us and she's still rooting for us and we got the win for her and you know she was with us the whole way. I mean just like I think she was like I think you guys are the group to get it. I know there's no banner. I think you guys won't want to get it. So we're like, okay, we can take that as a deal. I think it was just more motivation, just like another chip on your shoulder just to get it done. It was just another reason for us to come together, get what she wanted, get what we wanted, and we just got it. Forever, that banner's going to be up there, and I know she, she started believing in them. And, and I mean, they had the talent. and. Yeah, you know, thankfully, I guess they did. Um, she saw that they had the talent. I mean, they did it. I mean, Jess maybe started them and into believing, but they really did it. And so it's just so exciting to know she was a part of that. And that the banner's going to be on the wall forever. And hopefully, like, the younger ones see that Northampton is a big contender now. I think anybody who is in this journey knows how important this was every step of the way and and I said to them that they will be cemented together for life as brothers and that we will always be here for each other but to know that Jess was you know watching over us as you would say um, just knowing that that you dedicate the season is one thing but then dedicate a season so huge like this is is just an amazing moment for the service electric network I'm Cassie Schmidt. Wow, an amazing story and one none of those Northampton players will soon forget. Some pretty incredible numbers for you about that season. Obviously, they finished with just three losses and just one during the regular season to Parkland. They were your EPC runners up, of course, district champs, and as Cassie mentioned, state semifinalists. They dropped just seven sets throughout the entire regular season, where they also go through a streak of 10 straight three-set sweeps from April 8th through the 30th. Congrats once again to the Northampton boys volleyball team. Jess truly would be so proud. Before we leave, I just want to say we're thinking of the Schmidt family as Cassie Schmidt and her family laid their Grammy to rest today. She was 102 years old, so a long life lived thinking of you guys. That's going to do it for tonight's Lehigh Valley sports scene. For our entire crew, I'm Gwen Begley. Have a great night, and we'll see you again tomorrow.